going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another episode of JTAG and RGH Tutorials, episode 5 this should be. And in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install DLC, downloadable content, because of course games only come half completed these days and everything else is downloadable content. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Black Ops 2 DLC, but that's just an example. This is you know a general thing, this will work for all DLC essentially. Um, so, you know, if you've got DLC for any other game, you can just follow this tutorial to get it installed, basically. So, anyway, uh, make sure you have followed the previous episodes, obviously, so that you have Aurora and Dash Launch and XCX Menu installed and all that stuff, and that you actually have a game installed to uh, install your DLC to 2. Uh, so, you need to make sure that you have that all set up. But assuming you have all of that, uh, we'll get straight into the tutorial. So, uh, Black Ops 2, like I said, is the game we're going to do. So I'm going to go into details on Black Ops 2 and go to title updates. Go to the Unity Marketplace by pressing right bumper and make sure you have the latest title update for your game installed. Before you install any DLC, make sure you're on the latest title update. Um, so you, if you're not, you just select the top one, press A to download it. And once it's downloaded, it will appear in the installed title updates. And you just press A to enable that title update in Aurora. And that's you got the title update installed. So now the reason that we're doing this is that we need to actually launch the game first before we install any DLC. You need to make sure you've at least launched the game once before you install the DLC because that will create the folder structure um, for um, all the files. So that uh, it'll create the folder structure so we know where we're going to put our DLC basically. So um, it's gone ahead and booted here. I have it set to defaultly boot zombies. Um, but if we go to local, you can see that um, I only have one map transit. Um, you know, none of the DLC maps are showing up because we don't have any DLC installed yet. Okay, but since I launched the game there, it's created the folder structure on the hard drive. So that is basically what we want. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is switch over to the computer and show you guys where to download DLC and how to get it all set up. Okay, so here we are onto the computer. Now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is download the DLC. As you can see, I've got all the DLC downloaded for Black Ops 2. Now where do you get this? Um, typically I go on xbox360iso.com. This site's not really been the best for, for the past few years, particularly for downloading games themselves. But when it comes to downloading DLC, it's still pretty decent. So you can scroll down to JTAG slash RGH downloadable content. Now you need to make an account on this forum. It's free, so just make a free account. Otherwise, you won't be able to see any of the posts on the forums or any of the threads. So make sure you create a free account. And then you head into the downloadable content section. Uh, you can search form here for the game that you want. So I'm going to search for just Black Ops because... Um, you know, because it could be, should be in here somewhere. So uh, let's have a look here. So we've got Call of Duty Complete Collection. This will be basically what we're after. Yep, so it's got DLC for every single Call of Duty game. I think it's all DLC for all CODs, as you can see right here. Uh, so all the way up to Black Ops 3. And Black Ops 2 shows you what's all included. And you can click the spoiler and there's the link. We can just copy this link. Uh, into our web browser and boom there they are and you can just go ahead and click and download each one um, bear in mind that there is a limit to how much you can download on mega um, so you so download as much as you can then make an account which will allow you to download more and you know if if you reach your your limit on your account you can either make another account or just uh, you know restart your router to get a different IP address so that uh, it resets your your download limit basically so anyway uh, go ahead and download them as you can see I have them all downloaded here from that same that same site but uh, if you're having trouble locating the DLC you want have a look at some of the stickies because there's a lot of mega packs or mega collections of DLCs in some of the sticky threads um, that have you know just links for a whole bunch of DLCs uh, for a whole bunch of games so it's worth checking those as well uh, so anyway, once you get the downloads, uh, once you get the files downloaded, all these little uh, WinRAR archives, so you know, you're going to want to transfer those over to a USB stick. So I'm going to head to this PC and head to my USB stick. Again, make sure the USB is FAT32 format. If it's not, you can just plug it into your Xbox and format it or just right click 
and format it and select FAT32 from the drop down list. Um, so anyway, what you want to do here uh, let's open one of the DLC packs. So let's open this one because it's um, it's just I think this is just Nuke Town and Nuke Town Zombies, which are small, so it won't take long for these to transfer over. Uh, so if we go in here, you've got this folder 415608C3. That is the title ID or the game ID of uh, the current game, and then this folder with the two at the end is the folder that you put your DLCs inside. So as you can see, all these are the DLC containers and that is where they are stored. So what we're going to do is just transfer this 415608C3 folder to our USB stick. Obviously that game ID will be different if you're doing a different uh, DLC for a different game. Okay, so once you have it copied over, as you can see here, uh, because all the other DLCs are for the same game in this case, I can just go ahead and extract the actual DLC file right here into this folder with all these other DLC containers because they're all for the same game so they all go in the same location. So what you want to do is just keep doing this with every single DLC file until you have them all in there. Okay so as you can see here I've got all the DLC transferred over now all into that same folder because it's for the same game. Um, so, once you get all the DLC content over, uh, we're also going to take XM360, which will also be linked in the description, and we're going to copy that into the root of the USB. So I'm going to make a folder called um, XM360, and I'm going to just extract all of these files into that folder. So XM360 basically is a homebrew application that is going to allow you to unlock the DLC. Now you'll probably find that um, a lot of DLC that you get from xbox360iso.com will be pre-unlocked. So the DLC has already be un been unlocked for you before it was even uploaded. So sometimes you don't even need to unlock the DLC. But it's a good thing to have anyway because not, you know, not it's not guaranteed that every single DLC uh, pack that you download from xbox360iso.com is going to be pre-unlocked. Some will be, some won't be. So it's good to have it anyway. So anyway, what we're going to do now is just unplug the USB stick and plug it back into your console. And I will show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so once you're back on the console, you want to head over to XCX menu. So I'm going to dashboard and hold down X, which will take me to XCX menu. As that was set as my launch button for XCX menu and dash launch from previous episodes. So anyway, once you get into XCX menu, what you want to do is go into... Um, go into 415608C3 or whatever your game ID is and then copy the folder with the 2 at the end and go to the hard drive and because we launched uh, Black Ops 2 uh, because we launched Black Ops 2 if you head into content and then the folder with all the zeros you will have the Black Ops 2 title update folder right here as you can see 415608C3 and that was created because we launched the game. Now we don't have the folder with the 2 at the end in here because there's no DLC currently installed. And the folder there with the B in the middle, that's for title updates. So all you want to do is just paste the folder with the 2 at the end uh, in the same directory as, uh, as that folder with the B in the middle. And that's it basically. You're just going to have to wait for this to copy across and I'll be back with you guys once it's finished. Okay guys, so we are pretty much done on the copying. Any second now? Yep, there we go. And um, we can just check by going into the folder, making sure all making sure all the DLCs are there. And just while we're here, we're also going to go ahead and copy um, our XM360. So press Y, press A to copy it. Press X, hit to HDD1, and we'll put it in the homebrew folder that we created for our homebrew application. So we'll press Y and paste it in there. And since we added that homebrew folder as like a scan path on Aurora, next time we boot Aurora, it should automatically detect XM360 and it should show up in the list. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and dashboard and that'll take us to Aurora and we should see XM360 in there. Uh, so XM360 has been added, but for some reason the, the cover has not been downloaded. It could be because I'm not connected properly to my network, um, so it's not able to download it right now. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is just, first of all, head into Dash Launch. 
There's a setting I want to enable in Dash Launch here because um, it's something that helps unlock DLC for you um, automatically. So, you know, it, it's not as good as XM360, but it can save you a lot of, you know, time having to use XM360 in the future if you just have this setting enabled. So if you go into behavior, there's this thing called Cont Patch. You can see I've got it enabled. It's actually disabled by default. So you're gonna to want to make sure that you enable that. And it says, if enabled, add-on and DLC content license info will be soft patched when accessed. So it basically tries to spoof the license information to give you access to the DLC. It doesn't always work um, on all DLCs, but um, it's a useful thing to have so that, uh, you know, for some DLC that you won't have to use XM360, it will just automatically be unlocked for you. So let's start Black Ops 2 and we'll see um, if any of that DLC has been unlocked because of comp patch or because the DLCs are already pre-unlocked. So we'll head to local and yeah, so we've got a bunch of DLCs. So we've got Mob of the Dead, we've got Origins, we've got Buried, and we've got Die Rise. So one of the things we're missing, though, is Nuketown Zombies is not here. And that's because most of all the DLCs um, that I showed you guys that I downloaded, they're actually already pre-unlocked. I just deliberately went ahead and locked uh, Nuketown just to show you guys what to do if that does happen and none of, none of the DLCs are showing up or the DLC that you tried to add doesn't show up. Even if you have comp patch enabled, it might not work. Uh, in which case, you have to use XM360. So I'll just quickly show you guys how you do that. So we're going to go on dashboard and head on to XM360. Now you typically get a black screen for quite a while before this starts up this app takes a little little while to initialize but uh, any second now we should get it appearing oh there we go okay that actually took much longer than I expected so it'll be on a black screen for quite a long time but eventually uh, it will appear and then your first option is scan all so press a to scan all and that'll scan all the content then what you want to do is click show DLC so that shows you all the DLC. Now you can see we've got uh, most of this stuff showing up as it's uh, unlocked, but you can see Uprising is locked and Nuketown Zombies is locked. Now interestingly, Uprising, I think, was a mob of the dead and it did show up as though we could use it. So that was Cont Patch on Dash Launch that allowed us to use uh, Uprising DLC because it is actually locked. But Cont Patch, for whatever reason, wasn't able to unlock Nuketown Zombies. Okay, let me just cut in real quick into this video. Um, I'm currently editing this video and I realized I made a little mistake. One thing, um, and I wanted to mention this, is that I do have the Season Pass installed. So you've got to bear that in mind as well. If you have the Season Pass installed, that's probably the reason why everything will unlock for you. It's probably not because the DLC is necessarily pre-unlocked, it's probably because you have the season pass and the season pass is unlocked and that therefore unlocks all the DLC automatically. So if you have the season pass uh, as part of a DLC collection, install it because it should just unlock everything for you. But for other DLC, you should use XM360 to unlock. So all you wanna do is just click unlock DLC and that will just unlock all the DLCs that were previously locked. So there you go, one DLC, which is Nuketown Zombies, I presume. And that's it. So I guess Uprising, it doesn't want to unlock it. Probably because it's registering as kind of already unlocked because of comp patch. But anyway, we've gone ahead and unlocked Nuketown Zombies now. So then you can just press A to exit to dash. And that'll take you back to your default you know, launch path, which for me is Aurora. And we can start the game again. And hopefully this time we will see Nuketown Zombies as an option because we have unlocked it. So we'll go to local and there it is, Nuketown Zombies. So we can go ahead and play that. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. That is how you go ahead and unlock DLC. So basically, I'll just head to multiplayer as well and show you that it's unlocked on multiplayer. But basically what you want to do is just download the DLCs. Um, make sure you start the game first to create the you know, to create the folder structure. Um, and then all you're gonna to want to do is just 
uh, install the DLCs. Once you've got them installed, uh, you know, just run the game, check to see if, you know, they're already pre-unlocked. If they're not showing up, then enable cont patch and dash launch. If that doesn't work, then final final step to do is to unlock them using XM360. And if you do that, you should get them all unlocked. So we go to game setup, change map. You can see you've got all the DLCs in here as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video or found the information useful, make sure you subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.